From canceled seasons to modified practices, college coaches are really, and athletes are really trying to find ways to keep their team strong during this pandemic. So now you can add international players to the mix. Yeah, in fact, Harding University has 12 athletes who call somewhere other than the United States home. Our Claire Kreitz in studio tonight, and Claire, that turned into a, a really big challenge, especially when you factor in travel restrictions during the pandemic. Yeah, Don and Kevin, seven of those players were stuck in their home countries for almost 10 months, unable to train or compete with their team. It got to the point where these athletes and their coach wondered if they would even make it back. The Bisons are back in action, gearing up for the spring season. Hey, sir, return is very important. Head coach David Redding says his team started getting in the swing of things this fall, but not everyone made it back to the court. Just knowing that they weren't here, uh, it was it was tough. With COVID-19 travel restrictions, seven international players were stuck in their home countries. It's like being away from your second family, right? Ashley Nilsson was the closest, more than 2,000 miles away in Alberta, Canada. I wanted to go and play tennis, but the indoor facilities were closed. They were like... You can't train outside because there's like five feet of snow on the ground. Not only did these student athletes have to worry about staying in shape, but staying on top of their studies. Completing the whole semester online, like you say, removed from everybody else. It's really difficult. Rachel McCray says she was in constant communication with her teammates and coaches to keep motivated while away. I feel like it's a team effort to get through it. Starting mid-fall, several countries started lifting their restrictions. Nilsson was the first to make it back to the States. As soon as I got my passport, I booked the flight that night. For others. Their countries were getting ready to lock down again. It was still up in the air until the wheels hit the ground. I come back to, to Harding the two weeks ago. Danny Ortiz was the last to take the court for the Bison. Although COVID had the advantage for 10 months, now these students can get back to what they love. Just to have everybody here, you can just see the energy and the excitement and the enthusiasm. The Bisons will compete in their first tournament in 10 months this weekend in Dallas. Back to you.